So now it's on to the baby food. Let's see what we have. Well, we have some infant cereal here and we have some, what do we feel like today? Spinach or what's this? Banana, pear and mango. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we've got that. Banana, pear, mango, baby cereal. A few little treats. And in my pocket here, I've got some white, white rose petals. Oh yes, that's definitely yummy. Okay, so we're headed into this cage to look for a little girl named Magnolia to feed. Now, sometimes getting in the cage without her climbing all over you is difficult, but not for me, because she doesn't really know me. So I can very safely go in here and she's not going to come too near me. Sorry little girl to frighten you, but I've got treats. I've got really, really yummy treats. Look here. I've got banana with cereal. Oh, hello. Hello. And if you can smell it, I've got Special rose petals. Whoa, now that's a treat, isn't it? What do you think? She's going, you are not my mother. You smell different and I don't like you. So I'm just gonna leave all this stuff for her without stressing her out too much. Actually, she wants to sniff me. You can sniff me, I won't hurt you. Look, I've got treats. She wants to, uh, here yeah, look, let's see, I'm not going to hurt you. Oops, she wants to climb on me. It's all right, I'll let her suss me out first. I'll try not to shine the torch in her. It's all right, I promise I won't scare you. Okay, are you settled? Can I give you some treats now? Okay. Yeah, all the special things that you might just like. And she's really not happy that it's me. So I'm gonna do this very fast and get out of here. Take all the dirty stuff. There you go, girl. You can go eat now. I won't disturb you. All right, you go eat. So, we're drawing very quickly and let her get on with it. So you can see she's, I didn't upset her too much because she's already started eating and she seems pretty happy, which is good to know. So the news of the day is that I found the worms and it seems that half the problem was I actually needed my reading glasses to see them. So yeah. I found the worms, so now I'm going to feed the worms uh, to the bird. Here goes. They don't look very lively, but they are definitely worms. So I will choose a worm or two. Here we go. This is, a, whoops, they're definitely alive. They're trying to escape. Poor wormy, wormy. So here's one. How many do I need to give it? How much is a decent meal? One or two. Let me see. Okay, I'll take one more. Okay. I've managed to get a worm for you, little girl. I hope you appreciate it. Oh no, she took half a worm. That's pretty gross. Could you please take the whole worm? 
please take oh okay let's give her another one try and let her take the whole thing for cool come here little worm not looking very alive is this cruelty to worms to be honest they don't look very alive here you go come and get your worm come on come on come and get your worm come and get your worm here Thank you, look, thank you. Yes, well, dear alive, she likes it, I think. Did you eat that? You didn't throw it away, did you? No? Um, this little one up here is spunky. She just came out of a cage here. Oh yes, just watch out for the one beneath you because these, these might just grab your feet. Yep, Lordy. Well, you can have one so we don't bite my finger. Okay. Was that good, little little girl? Was it good? Hey? Did you did you like that? Shall I get you another one? Hang on. Here you go, girl. Here you go, boy. Not you. Yeah, spunky. Spunky. Spunky, do you want this one? Floyd, I wasn't planning on giving it to you. Here's Spunky. Okay, here you go, but don't you bite me. Nice. Okay, good. Now, the other orphan I didn't introduce you to was Pink Floyd here, who's a pink and gray glass, and he is very noisy. He's never this quiet. He also picks his moments. As soon as you sit down on that sofa and start watching TV, he makes as much noise as he possibly can. Don't you, Floyd? Floyd, you're never this quiet. You're camera shy. He can also purr like a cat. It's quite remarkable. Floyd. Purr. Floyd. Purr. He says, no. He says, what are you up to? Do you want a treat, Floyd? Do you want a peanut? What do you think? Do you want a peanut? Do you want a peanut? Do you? Well, come down here, I'll give it to you here. You don't have to climb all over the place. Here we go. Ho ho ho! Special treat for Floyd. Yeah. You don't get too many of those, do you? He loves to chew up um, paper and cardboard, so see he's He's going to make a nice mess with those boxes down there. That's what he loves to do, don't you, Floyd? Make a mess and make a noise. Floyd was brought into the clinic having, I think he was hit by a car, um, and had broken a wing. Now, Natalie um, realized that he was a pet because he was talking. So she decided to save him. She amputated his wing. And he's fine. Apart from his swearing. You walk past and he sometimes goes, Dumbass. Dumbass. He says lots of things actually. Like when I put the dogs out to go the um, to go for a pee at night, he sits in the corner and goes, Come on! Come on! <laughs> it's quite quite a character, aren't you? Um, this little one up here is spunky. She just came out of a cage here. Oh yes, just watch out for the one beneath you because these, these might just grab your feet. Yep, Lordy. Lord, you can have one so you don't bite my finger. Okay. Was that good, little, little girl? Was that good? Hey? Did you, did you like that? Shall I get you another one? Hang on.